Many governments want these websites shut down. We're talking about WikiLeaks, which Financial Mail explores in its edition of the 9th July 2010. Three years ago, an Apache helicopter attack in Iraq killed almost 18 people, two of them Reuters journalists. The entire 38-minute attack was captured on video from the cockpit and remained a closely guarded U.S. military secret. That is, until it exploded onto the internet with devastating consequences a few weeks ago. It became one of the biggest news stories this year, and so did the website on which the video was released, wikileaks.org. Founded by Australian-born Julian Assange, the site went online three and a half years ago and publishes anonymously leaked sensitive and confidential documents and images from governments and institutions around the world. Though the Iraq video, Collateral Murder, is its best-known leak to date, the website has scored other scoops, the operating handbook for Guantanamo Bay, the far-right British National Party's membership list, the infamous ClimateGate emails, the Yahoo account contents belonging to 2008 Republican Vice Presidential nominee Sarah Palin, and corruption details of former Kenya leader Daniel Arap Moy's family. A number of South African documents have been leaked on the website, the most damning of which was the confidential report on fraudster Shabir Sheikh, which led to his being granted parole on medical grounds after serving just a fraction of a 15-year sentence. For more on this, see the Financial Mail in print or online.